you know, some paper wasps. It's just a small nest, but it'll get bigger. It'll get a bit bigger after a time. And there are all the ladies, they're all females, aren't they? Working. Now, when they bite, they make a hole in your skin, it's horrible. I've been bitten by them, they, it's a very painful bite and it makes a hole in your skin and it takes about a week to heal. They look a bit reddish, don't they? I wonder why they are. I don't remember them being so red. Um, usually if you get bitten by them, it's just a sentry. You get a warning bite. <laughs> You get a warning bite before the whole tribe comes after you, so that's pretty good. You just get one bite and you run away. Let's see how close we can get. What are they up to? Well, they invented paper before the Japanese invented paper and before the Egyptians invented paper. Just like the potter wasp invented clay, didn't it? Is that clear enough? I'm not sure. Well, you've got to credit them with uh, doing their work and um, sharing tasks and having coordinating everything so well. Much redder than I remember. Well, paper was make paper, paper cells, and bees make wax cells, don't they? That's as close as I can get. I was bitten by a European wasp once. It was terrible in Sydney. We were driving along on Anzac Parade and suddenly I felt this, I felt this needle like a syringe being stuck into my ribs. It was terrible, horrible. It's only a small little uh, nest anyway. I just thought I'd show you. Paper wasps. I just had a look around and I found another. It might be an outpost. Often it's the same tribe of uh, wasps. They, they start outposts, new colonies. Those ones don't look as red though, do they? What are they doing? Just looking after their little cell in a paper cone, paper comb. I suppose like bees, they have to fan the uh, larvae to keep them cool in the warmer weather. It's quite warm today, not, it's not 100 degrees today, but it's quite warm. We'll have to watch out for them, they're right near the door. 
Let's see. Focus, come on. Upside down. That's it, clean your feelers. Ablutions. There's another little nest nearby. Let's have a look at that one over there. Where is it? There it is. Australian paper wasps. Well, I wonder if bees and wasps are related. I suppose they are because they make a comb, don't they? Very similar. What's the difference between powdered wood and uh, wax? It's not that much different. Or pottery. I don't know that they have drones though. I think these ones are feminists. I don't think they have drones. They might have a queen, but they don't have drones. Uh, do they use parthenogenesis to reproduce? Is it called parthenogenesis when you just reproduce without, well, without coitus and everything? Let me adjust this camera. I suppose they're all just outposts of the same tribe. Focus, come on, focus. No, I haven't read the instructions for my camera yet. I want to. Oh, I better be careful. It's starting to buzz a bit. Mm. 
Oops.